Hello everyone, I am Matt Williamson. Welcome to my YouTube channel, at Williamson NFL, spread the word. And as I've been doing, I want to go through team by team, starting at the beginning of the draft, and do a live mock draft. And I've been using Pro Football Focus's mock draft simulator, it's worked well. A couple of you told me that it's not the best one. Fair enough, but I'm keeping it consistent. And today's New England Patriot Day. Now, the Patriots have a wealth of picks. I mean, they have 334, 68, 103, 137, 180, and two others on top of that. They need a lot. And everyone on the planet has them taking a quarterback at number three. And I understand that. And I just hit, you know, draft. And, of course, Caleb Williams and Drake May both came off the board. Now, I'll be fine taking Jaden Daniels here, and I'm torn personally between Daniels and May. So either would suit me fine. But I've been really curious to see what this would look like if the if the uh, Patriots traded out of three. So there's several teams on the phone with us right now. And here's the reason real quick, because I think that, you know, Belichick's gone. You know, that's not a small thing, of course. But I do think the Patriots' defense, which was exceptional last year, people don't seem to notice that, is basically going to run it back with a defensive-minded, like-minded head coach. I think their offense needs everything, though. And I like Jacoby Brissett. That's neither here nor there. I just think it's really hard on a third overall pick to say, I'm going to drop you into that offense that needs everything but running back, in my opinion. So I'm really interested in trading down. Now, the Giants are on the phone with us. They pick six. The Vikings are on the phone. They pick 11. Denver picks 12. I want to talk to the Vikings. I, I thought about sticking, you know, staying at six, still getting a premium receiver. But I'm sitting here thinking I'm going to get a tackle probably at 11 with the Vikes. And they have those two first-round picks. And I need every first-round pick I can get on offense. So here's what's going on in the trade talks. I want 11. I want 23. I'm going to give you three. You're going to get that. We know that. I'm going to throw in 231 for fun just to get it out of here. I want 108. You're going to get that. And I want next year's first. Eh, it's not probably going to fly. I'm going to get next year's third without question. And I also want 129. I'm just getting picks left and right. And I'm going to draft all offense. And I want next year's fourth. I want another fifth. I mean, we're just taking every pick they own, to basically. Basically, um, basically you're not going to get three firsts, it looks like, for them. But you can get just about everything else they have. <laughs> so maybe I don't want to make this trade, to be honest. I'm, they're getting way too many picks. I'm backing out of that one. I don't need a 1,000 picks. I want quality. So I'm going to go back to the Patriots-Giants conversation. Let's say I give you three for six. I want... Definitely 147 thrown in there. I would definitely like your first next year. That doesn't look promising, but the second and third next year does, as well as 107. So I'm going to give you three for 647, 107, a two and a three next year. Now that gets me out of the quarterback world. I'm aware, but I think I'll be right back in it next year. And it keeps me in the premium pass catcher role. So, offer trade, accepted, good, resume draft. We are back on the clock with Joe Alt, Roma Dunze, Brock Bowers, all sitting there. I'm going to take Joe Alt and be very happy about it, to be very honest. I would rather build with linemen than re receivers. So, boom, that one's pretty easy to me, to be honest with you. Joe Alt. Now we are up at 34. Fine. We want playmakers, or we want linemen. Zach Frazier sitting there, Lad McConkey, Bo Nix. Would we consider Bo Nix here? Hmm, maybe, maybe. Um, who else is in, on my mind? Troy Franklin, Jordan Morgan, Kingsley Suomata. Did we talk about taking two tackles off the board and going from there? He did bring back a Wenahu, though, so that's not as pressing to me. But he's probably better at guard. Um, I don't think I'm going to take the quarterback. 
I think I'm going to take Zach Frazier and just try to build a line and go from there. Okay, so we are back up at 47. Enos Rakestraw is still there. Okay, I like him. Ricky Pearsall is still there. Jatavian Sanders doesn't really move the needle for me that much. Keon Coleman. Keon Coleman has my attention without question. Polk from Washington. Edwin Cooper. But again, I really want to stick with offensive and offensive playmakers and linemen. Christian Haynes is sitting there. Should we take a tackle, a guard, and a center right off the bat? Yeah. Yeah, we should. And this line is done, hopefully forever. Now I'm up at 68. I'm looking at Jalen McMillan. I'm looking at Spencer Rattler. Worth a shot, right? I mean, I think so. Devontae Walker is interesting. Javon Baker is a, is one of my favorites. Blake Fisher, Johnny, yeah, Max Melton's a good player. Johnny Wilson. I feel like we have to go get a pass catcher of some sort. It's been a little insane what I've done here with the O-line. I like Javon Baker a lot, but I'm going to take Devontae Walker as a deep threat, and we might not be done at receiver. Okay, there we go. We now are at 103. And remember, we have a bunch of picks next year. Uh, Eric All is sort of interesting, but the injuries worry me a little. We're okay at tight end. Uh, Jacob Cowling, DJ Mays, Dwayne Carter, Tommy Eichenberg. Abrams drains a corner I kind of like. At this point, I'm thinking about some defense, too. Tyke Smith, Cole Bishop, Cam Hart. Nah, I don't love what we're getting here in the world of wide receivers, to be very honest with you. There are a couple linemen, but I probably should be done at line. That was a little bonkers. Here's going to be a wild card for me, though, and I've taken him in a couple drafts. Is Jordan Travis... He's just going to sit there, and maybe he's a long-term two, but he's just going to wait for a year behind Brissett. I'm not saying he's your answer, but take a bite of that apple and just see what happens is interesting to me. So that's what I did there. I'm going to grab a corner at this point, Abrams Drain from Missouri, player I like quite a bit, just because it's never a terrible idea to add a corner. Cooper, Cooper Beebe is still available. I told you I wasn't going to take Lyman. I end up with him a lot on Pro Football Focus because I just like him a lot better than they do, obviously. But boy, I mean, he looks like an immediate starting guard. You can move some people around. Frazier, I mean, how many guards do you need? Of course, that's not an issue, but he's appealing. I, I don't think I'm going to do it, though, to be honest with you. Um, I'm taking Mason Smith here now. One more defensive lineman, a very Patriot-like pick. And I'll be honest, this draft hasn't blown my doors off. I mean, with that trade down, it didn't get enough premium stuff. You know, I'm kind of just sort of taking guys at this point as opposed to changing my team in a great way. I got two more picks. This one at 180, I'm going to take Tip Raymond. Really good tester, really big tight end. I think would fit in with those guys quite a bit in New England. And this is our last pick. Remember, we do have serious draft capital next year. Hmm, 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 hmm. A couple of offensive linemen I'm sort of interested in, but I don't think I'm going down that road. Kind of like to help the defense in some way, shape, or form here with another you know, secondary pick, something like that. I'm scrolling here again. There's some names that are okay, but aren't blowing my doors off, to be honest with you. Um, let's go back to the top here. There were some guys there I thought were decent. And... Who do we like? Maybe an edge like Jalen Green from James Madison. I think he's kind of intriguing. Um, eh, again, this is late in the draft, and I'm probably spending more time here than I should. So give me... Eh, I'm going to make it count, so I'm not blown away. I'm going to take Johnny Dixon, another corner, just to throw in the mix from Penn State. All right, that's a wrap. So we ended up with, I don't love it. I mean, remember, we've got the Giants second and third from next year, which I think could be quite high. And we went crazy with O-Lyman. We took Frazier as a center. We took Haynes as a guard. We took Alt as a tackle. 
That's all we did, but that was basically just built an entire offensive line in one draft. It's a pretty good start. Skill guys, we only ended up with Devontez Walker and Tip Raymond late in the draft. Took two corners in Abrams Drain and Johnny Dixon. A D lineman I'm very high on in Mason Smith. And then I also took Jordan Travis as a flyer round four quarterback. Maybe this time next year you're excited about him. Who knows? I mean, I, I don't think it's crazy to think that you'll be happy about that pick down the road. So that's what I did. I like it. I don't love it, to be honest with you, how this worked out. But thanks so much. Take care. Over and out.